es el Teatro Cinerama, uno de los cines más emblemáticos de Los Ángeles, un lugar que cita obligada para cualquier cinéfilo que visite esta ciudad, y parece ser que Godzilla tomó el domo principal. Senators, we believe that these titans are just the tip of the iceberg. Which of these titans are here to protect us? And which of these titans are here to threaten us? Really, nice, nice, nice to see you again. So good to see you. The last time was in our country, in the yeah. stage of Comic Con. It was so fun. It was I an amazing it. moment. Argentina was one of the busiest. Yes. I remember. Yes, so congratulations for this movie. You know, Godzilla was born in the 50s, a long time ago. What was your first contact with the character? Did you see classic movies? No. Movies? No. No, I watched the last, the most recent one, but mm. that was it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you prepare the character? Only with the script or, you know, you, you speak with, with, with old people? Yeah, I mean, we spoke with, with the director and, and the writer, but mostly mm -hmm. I based myself off of the script and then wanted to evolve from mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And how do you describe Madison? What kind of girl is she? She's a very smart intellectual mm -hmm. and aspiring to be a paleologist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has a special connection with with the titans, with the creature. Yeah. What can you say about this relationship with Godzilla, with Mothra? <laughs> she is very knowledgeable about mm. who they are and what they stand for, and um, you know, statistically, you know, um, she knows exactly what they what they're about. The bioacoustics, um, a lot of uh, smart, intelligent things she <laughs> has to know. Um, but only due to her parents. I mean, her parents are very strong and they, they, they actually know everything about these Titans, or so we think. Um, <laughs> so we uh, definitely, I felt like I had that head start. I think Madison had that head start in life. What was the most complicated part from make a sequel with an icon of the pop culture like Godzilla? The most complicated part? Yes. So many complicated parts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's Say one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, it's hard to pick just one, mm. honestly. I mean, I think living up to Godzilla's legacy might be it, uh, because it encompasses so many other complications. Uh, you know, it's, it's, the franchise has been going for 65 plus years, over 30 movies. Uh, so it's a lot to live up to. What was the inspiration for, for the classic creatures of this mythology? Rodan, uh, Mothra, what was your inspiration? The classic movies? Yeah, went yeah. back and looked at uh, all their incarnations from the past films. Uh, tried to find what was it that uh, persisted from one incarnation to the next. Mm -hmm. You know, their personalities, their design, like what was the essence that um, made them such iconic characters. Mm -hmm. And then tried to isolate those ingredients, almost like a science project, and update them. Um, update their designs so they feel like something that Mother Nature would have or could have created. Um, updated their roars um, from the old films. Like anything that um, felt classic and timeless, uh, we worked on updating. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the, the personality of Godzilla? It's a good monster? It's bad? <laughs> uh, it's not co correct to the, it decide to the good or bad. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, he doesn't, uh, Serizawa doesn't believe the Godzilla. He doesn't trust. But he, he needs to give some hope to protect the humankind. And some, you know, just really confusing and then uh, some complex feeling as a uh, scientist. So what do you like about this project? What do you say yes for, for making this, this movie? Well, I mean, you look at something like this and one of the one of the things that was in my mind something to get my mind around is the challenge of such a huge undertaking and uh, you know if you're doing a, a play or if you're doing a small little film you have a certain amount of control that you, you know that you can uh, you can get across or you can you can bring a little bit more to a scene because you've got ideas to 
how to how to work it, but something like this, um, it was a it was a learning curve. It's so huge. There's so many moving pieces at all times, and um, you have to put a lot of trust and faith in in what the final product's going to be, and not knowing how it's going to turn out. When you do watch it, it's kind of nice to be pleased with what you see. What do you remember about your days in our country, in Argentina? The steak. Oh yeah. Yeah. Delicious. Yes. And obviously the wonderful people. Yes. Well, you must go again.